What's up guys, I'm at CES and I've spotted a cool travel trailer that you guys might want to know more about. So I got Stefan here, tell us what you got. Yes, hi, uh, so we are Pebble, uh, we are a California based startup. Uh, really what we are doing is addressing all the pain points that uh, people in the travel trailer industry were facing for decades. This is our flagship product, the Pebble Flow. This is a fully electric uh, travel trailer. What it means is that you have really automotive design here, you have a, a large battery, it's a 45 kilowatt hour battery in here. You have one kilowatt of solar on the roof. Let's, let's walk around first yeah. Yeah. and kind yeah. of show them the outside. Yeah, so um, let's, let's go this way. So you see very nice slick design. It's extremely aerodynamic. This is three times more aerodynamic than anything on the market today. Uh, one cool thing here, this box here is our um, active aero. So once you are tra starting to go at speed, this will lift automatically so that this, ga this gets uh, slippery for, uh, for the air coming off your truck or off your vehicle. Uh, is, this, so you um, is this jack, is that controlled with a remote control? Right, right, yeah. yes, absolutely. We come to that as well. So as I said, uh, this is a fully electric vehicle. You have a large battery in here. The size of this battery is more or less the same as the Tesla Model 3. And it actually has two motors as well. What uh, it does then, it can move by itself. Why is oh, this good? Nice. It's good because this entire hassle of backing up your trailer, yeah. the hassle of hitching up, doesn't exist anymore with the Pebble Flow. Nice. What you do, this becomes a fully remote controlled. It's very, very easy. If you are looking around here at CES, you see these very narrow pathways. This vehicle came in on its uh, own feet with remote control. So we actually <laughs> navigated these narrow pathways and put it in here. Nice. So if you are following me, so you see very nice slick design here. Um, we have the charge ports over there. So we have level one, level two uh, charging, even uh, DC fast charge. You have an EMA 1450 as well. You can actually charge your EV from here. On the other hand, when you are not uh, camping, you can use this as an ADU. You can park it next to your home and connect your home to it. The large battery can be used as an emergency power backup for your home. Power nice. goes out, this will power your entire home. The size of this battery is the same as three Tesla Powerwall, so it's significant. Nice. So we continue here, very nice, slick design. This is all automotive. Uh, we are using automotive materials, automotive design, automotive processes. Um, if you come here on the uh, passenger side, you see a nice big window here. Uh, we'll come in and you see the openness that we, we uh, try to achieve with it. Um, I just want to bring your attention to a couple of things here. You see some nice stabilizers here. Uh, as you know, when you get to the campground, what you need to do is you use either impact tool or manually come take down your stabilizer and level the vehicle. We don't do this at Pebble. Uh, the Pebble Flow has a function through the Pebble app. You just push a button, everything comes down for you. The stabilizers, the stairs are coming out, the awning, everything is done and the vehicle is nicely leveled. I like everything it. takes just a minute. All right, so let's get inside and let's check out the Pebble Flow. So as you come in here, you see very nice Scandinavian design. It's very light, it's very open. You see 270 degrees view here, so it's all glass, all around. Why? We want to make sure you can take in the nature. You go out in the nature, you want to see the nice view. Nice. Uh, you also notice here uh, the, the large window. So when I am cooking and preparing food with my family and friends, I always just do this motion, you know, I have to see them through the door. <laughs> no more. We want to get the outside in. I want to be able to communicate with them, be with them while preparing things uh, here inside. Talking about uh, preparing food, this is a chef's kitchen, a uh, lot of space, you can work, you can prepare food. Uh, this vehicle, like I mentioned, is fully electric, no more propane. So cooking here is done with induction cooktop, but it's even cooler than that. This is removable, you can take it outside and you can cook, cook there, be with your family. That's smart. Uh, look at the appliances here, it is all soft clothes, high quality. A lot of storage, you see a lot of storage over here, 
are down there, all around, it's wrapping around, even in the dinette area. Let's talk about the dinette area just for a minute. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, I am a really tall. We can sit here, four or five people, extremely comfortable. You can put this um, uh, table down. Two people my size here can sleep, stretch legs, not an issue. Nice. Um, over here, you see a lot of storage. It's very, very nice design. Uh, oh, that is You big. can have, it's pretty deep. You can have coats and it goes all the way down. Okay? And that one as well. Uh, what, what, ma what material is this? It's all composite. Oh, okay. So, weight. Weight is very important for us. We want to make this as light as possible. This vehicle is 6,200 pounds uh, heavy. This is GVWR. So you have everything, all your gear, all the water, everything in here. And remember, this has a 45 kilowatt hour large battery and two motors. Wow. So you have, um, again, residential grade appliances here. Look at the fridge. This is residential grade. It works really, really well and it's large. That's very important. <laughs> uh, very, very important. So let's let's go in here. Let's look at the bathroom. One of the design ideas here uh, is that you want to make it open. You want to have space. Now, what we have done here is that we put in glass. As soon as you put in glass here on the wall, it just opens it up. It's really spacious, right? Now, obviously, that has an issue. You need to uh, resolve the privacy. In those cases, when you're using the uh, bathroom, you just push the button and oh, then now everything nice. goes back. Right? <laughs> How um, did you do that? So there's a button right here, huh? Yeah, there's a button over oh, there. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, I, can, I can try, I can do it again. So, right? So privacy on and then. Oh, I love it. That is off, great. Right? Um, we can look at the shower, look at the appliances here, all uh, very, very uh, good quality. Um, if we come here to the back side, you see a large area. This is essentially an office for two. You can have two people sitting here, not an issue. Now, during the, the evening, you want to reuse this area. It's a multi-purpose. What you do is just put it down and we have a queen size bed. So now this is a bed for two people. This is my side. Uh, it's not a problem to sleep in here. Nice. Um, and then again, for, during the day, you can just pull it up, and then it's back in office mode. I like the fact that it's a bed and a desk. Exactly yeah, right. Uh, here you can really, really nicely have a couple of people working. We talked about nighttime, and as you see here, you have a lot of windows. It's 270 degrees. What this brings us uh, is the ability to see the nature, but also there's a there's an issue with it. Again, privacy. What do you do? So we have use the same technology in these windows as well. If you look through it here, now it's transparent and then you can just go opaque, right? Transparent and opaque. Oh, right? nice. Everything that you've seen here will be controlled through the Pebble app. You will have um, a unit here, this is your, uh, your console, and you have everything available uh, through the app. You can take a look perhaps at some functions so if I am taking this out, so you see here you have all the status information about the pebble. Uh, you can control the lights, you can control the temperature, so on. But uh, it is here you also have your access to Instacam. This is the feature that takes uh, all the stabilizers down and, and levels the vehicle. Even remote control. And let me show you remote control. How does that work? It's actually very simple. You just push this button, and obviously you need some security. You don't want anyone to, to move it around. So this is the first layer of security. So um, it's through Touch ID, you go into the app, and it is very, very simple. What you do is move forward, reverse, pivot left, pivot right, and oh, that's it. Yeah. And this is the way we got the vehicle in here on this very, very tight spot. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love it. So uh, a couple um, questions that I may have missed. Obviously, you're a tall man. How tall are you exactly? Uh, I am 6'4". 190 four. centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six but four. you you fit nicely in here. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So again, we are talking about uh, design processes, and we go through the typical automotive design. We are looking at distribution of uh, of uh, uh, populations, and then the the percentile that we want to 
to achieve, and that's how we came up with this pipe. Nice. And then um, the water capacity, how much water can you yes. carry in here? Yes. So this model has 37 gallons of fresh water and it has a 450 gallons of right now combined uh, gray and black uh, wastewater tank. Okay. And then of course, I, I heard earlier, there's a solar panel on the roof. You may have talked about it, but one more time, how much power does it have? It is one kilowatt of solar on the roof. There are oh, multiple wow. solar panels. So it's, it's essentially the entire roof is covered by solar. That's a lot of power. Absolutely. Nice. And they are very, very nicely integrated. It's very fully integrated in the vehicle. Very nice. No more bolting panels. No bolting. <laughs> no bolting. Nice. All right. So the biggest question of all, um, if guys watch this video and they're like, I love it. I want to get one. How much are they and how far away are we from production? Absolutely. So we are taking pre-orders already for a few months back now. You can go to pebblelife.com. Uh, the vehicle starts at 109,000. That's the base package with the battery. If you want the motors, all the automation, magic hatch, remote control, it is $125,000. Start of production is end of this year. Nice. All right. There you go, guys. Very impressive travel trailer. Nicest one I've probably ever seen in my life. PebbleLife.com if you want to learn more. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. That was amazing, wasn't it? This thing is like the Tesla of travel trailers. I mean, there's nothing else like this. 45 kilowatts of battery power, 1,000 watts of solar on the roof. I mean, this thing can run your house and your electric vehicle. That's pretty awesome. It's fully self-contained and off-grid. I love it. Alright guys, as usual, please hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new high-tech travel trailer by Pebble. Pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of a submarine. All you need to bring is your food and water. Alright guys, take care. Enjoy life. Have fun.